The story of Go to Nations begins with Daniel and Sharon Williams of Jacksonville, Florida, and an unmistakable calling on their hearts to be missionaries in Costa Rica. It was 1981. A door had opened for us because we were coming out of a church that had no mission program. We we're going to do what everybody else did back in those days, which is to start your own organization. And we started this nonprofit. They had a name for it, the Daniel and Sharon Williams Ministry. I was about to sign, sign the name on it, and God said to me, as close as specifically as ever, He's ever spoken to me, He said, Do not put your name on that organization. This belongs to me. The Williams began to see that God was doing something much more than merely sending them to fulfill their own calling. We, from the very first day, began to think about it in terms of how do we mobilize other people or help other people be mobilized like ourselves to go where God has put in their heart around the world. And that was the foundation of what is today Go To Nations. Jerry Williamson was invited to join a Go To Nations team starting a Bible school in Ecuador. I met Dr. Daniel Williams, I met a lot of the team there, and just from the very beginning I knew this is exactly what I've been looking for. This, these people, they eat, drink, sleep, world evangelism. He signed on in 1985, became president in 2000. His heart and the ministry he leads more focused than ever on reaching the nations through Christ. He puts it this way, Go to Nations creates opportunities for every Christian to change lives that change nations for Jesus. Our mission is to go to nations with the gospel of Jesus Christ until every tribe, every tongue, every nation has heard. We are a global ministry where you're seeing international teams that are being raised up all over Asia, Africa, the former Soviet Union, Latin America, even here in North America, in Canada, we're seeing that God continues to expand our ability to serve more people when it comes to the global harvest. The world headquarters in Jacksonville is at the heart of the story of Go to Nations. You may not hear much about the people who work and serve there or what they do, but they are the ministry's lifeblood and a lifeline to missionaries on the field. The main thing that's important when you're looking at a headquarters for any nonprofit organization or ministry is the fact that it does require more than just the individual doing the work of the ministry in the field. It requires a lot of undergirding support, which would either be financial, would be communications, uh, it could be training, it could be leadership, it could be covering in prayer. Those are the things that are important for the World Headquarters to be able to support those that are doing the work of the ministry. The Board of Directors, President and Executive and Regional Leaders are responsible for many things such as bringing vision, strategy and stewardship over the mission, vision and values of the ministry. Leadership must also provide mentoring, equipping, impartation, and ministry training at the World Headquarters and in other countries. They keep divisions, departments, and everything else up and running and on track. The World Headquarters has three divisions. We have the Finance and Business Admin Division, we have the Mobilization Division, and also the Ministries Division. First, Business and Finance. The job is to provide financial management, fiscal responsibility and accountability through annual external audits. We have certain requirements of accountability for our partners. One is the Evangelical Council for Financial Accountability. This is one thing that we require our ministry to have for the purposes of showing that we are accountable and showing that we are fiscally responsible for every dollar that comes into go to nations. They also provide complete IRS compliance financial receipting and documentation of all incoming gifts for every individual missionary and for those who partner with them. The missionaries that have partners all over the world send their funds here. So what happens with those funds? Those funds have to come in and be accounted for. There are a lot of programs, a lot of software, a lot of manpower that it takes on a daily basis to make these things credible and IRS compliant. Business and finance responsibilities don't end there. Staffers also provide crucial administrative and support services in the handling of each individual missionary's mail 
and providing online ministry and expense reporting, as well as online customized reports and software for donor tracking and development. Nancy Lovelace heads the Go to Nations Ministries Division. I oversee all the missionaries worldwide and the projects that they oversee. The Ministries Division provides a crucial equipping track along with training and resources for individuals and families designed to enable them to fulfill their mission's calling. It's an extensive process of evaluating their readiness, their preparation for the field, and then getting them an individualized equipping track that is perfect for their needs. It includes six days of missionary preparation and orientation at the World Headquarters to identify that calling and preparedness while equipping new missionaries with the essentials for getting started. That's followed by a ten and a half week internship on the mission field in Burkina Faso, West Africa, Chiang Rai, Thailand, or San Pedro Sula, Honduras for cross-cultural training and boot camp in fundamental and vital missionary skills. What we have done is put together ten weeks that really identifies and prepares new missionaries to serve long term so they have that foundation underneath them. Once training and boot camp are wrapped up, the new missionaries begin a field apprenticeship alongside veteran counterparts to ensure their preparedness for longevity and lasting fruit with opportunities in Africa, Asia, Europe and the Americas. We very much believe in fathering and mothering and equipping for longevity and for quality of work in the nations. That includes an exceptional program that provides member care for each missionary's spiritual needs, intellectual growth, plans for home assignment, education of their children, and preparation for retirement. The Ministries Division also provides training in Islamic World Missions, provides project manpower and partnering opportunities through short-term trips, mentoring, equipping, impartation, and ministry planning through leadership development forums and continued education opportunities for existing and emerging leaders. They provide training and resources for community development and relief work through Go to Nations Relief and Development Arm, GlowDev Incorporated, a nonprofit charity. We believe we can envision the poor to come up to a higher standard. We can empower them uh, by making small investments into their life as we encourage their genius so that they begin to think and to do for themselves and they begin to dream for themselves and they begin to come up with their own ideas and their own plans. Sandra Barfield heads the Mobilization Division which among other things serves as a communications and worldwide prayer hub getting out written communications using the electronic media and other avenues to ensure a fast response to prayer needs that come in. Anytime there's a need that arises on the field, whatever that may be, a financial need, a spiritual need, a physical need that we have from the missionaries that tell us what's going on in their field, we pray for them. They're able to communicate in real time the need and we're able to put that out to our intercessor group to prayer and to cover them in that need. Staffers in that division meet many other needs. Public relations for partner development, awareness, and to recruit new missionaries. Creating quality promotional and training materials through Go to Nations publishing and online community website, email, and blog site for each individual missionary as a means to aid in partner development. They also come up with fundraising strategies through the Board Advancement Committee, provide funding resources for ministry partners, including stewardship, and planned giving opportunities through the Go to Nations Foundation, and offer church relations services to equip the local church in the U.S. and other nations with missions mobilization strategies and tools through Global Pathway Seminars. It takes a lot to do what they do at the world headquarters of Go to Nations, and they do a lot. Everybody's concerned about return on investment. If I'm going to invest my time and my talents and my treasure into something, I want to make sure that it actually is accomplishing what it is I'm investing in. And I think that Go-To Nations is one of the best investments someone could make. I would say the greatest thing that we have going on as an organization is that we know who we are, we know what we're doing, 
and we know where we're going. Our vision for the future has really crystallized into three areas. One, of course, is the unreached. You know, the places that are left in the world are the hard ones. We've gone to the easy ones. The second area is mobilizing other countries to be strong mission sending forces like America. The third area is very important. In Europe, an area of the world that used to be Christian but have slipped from their Christian roots and now is totally post-Christian, we are going to have to penetrate Europe with the gospel again. It's like we have this unstoppable locomotive a modern day train that is in full steam ahead. We know where our strengths are, we know where our weaknesses are, and we are doing everything in our power to take what we have and invest that into not only the next generation, but multiple generations to ensure the longevity of this organization. Not for the sake of preserving GTN, but for the sake of completing the mission. One way to look at all this is perhaps as the best investment you could ever make. One not only with impact, but one for all eternity. Now that's something to be excited about. Every dollar invested in the headquarters and into its training programs is going to return investment in 90 countries around the world through the missionaries that they support. Every Christian is called to be a Great Commission Christian. What that means is God has placed a destiny on their life. They have talents and, 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 and giftings that God wants to use. He literally has called us to come together as the body of Christ to carry out one mission and that is to take this gospel to the world.